Hello friends, this video on menstruation part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam of a cube. Now what about a cuboid? Now let's think of a cuboid as being made up of cubes. Now let's arrange cubes such that the length, breadth and heights are different. So here you see we have many small cubes like again these each small cube is the same unit cubes as we considered in the last slide. So here if you look at the length, how much is the length? So for the length you have how many small cubes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So your length is 9 units. What about the height? This is height. So for height you have 1, 2, 3 small cubes. So that means height is 3. What about the width? This is the width. For width also you have 1, 2, 3 cubes. So the Width is also 3. So for this particular cuboid, your length is 9, breadth is 3 and height is also 3. So how do you find out the volume of this cuboid as I said? So see, each of these things, for example, if you think of the small cubes, so how many cubes do you need to form the length? You need 9 cubes to form the length, but you also need 3 cubes to form the breadth. So this length into breadth together will form the area. But the moment you put more cubes on top, what happens? Your height is increasing, therefore the volume is increasing. So when you want to calculate the volume, what you do? You multiply length into breadth into height. So length into breadth is basically the area of a rectangle. But many such rectangles when placed one above the other forms the cuboid. So that is why you multiply the height also because the height parameter gets added that time. So volume will be given by length into breadth into height. So in this case what would be the volume? It would be 9 into 3 into 9 which is equal to 81. So 81 centimeter cube would be the volume of this cuboid. Now let us take a second case where we increase the height. So this was the first layer. Now on top of this layer we place more cubes. So what happened? So this is also a cuboid but this time your length is still 9, your breadth is still 3 but your height has increased to 6 because this time your height is 6 units and as a result what is your volume? It is 9 into 3 into 6 which is 162 centimeter cube. So you see the moment you increase the height your overall volume increased because overall size of the cuboid increased it would occupy more space. So we can say that the volume of a cuboid is given by L into B into H where L, B, H are length, breadth and height of the cuboid respectively. Now what about the volume of a cylinder? How do we calculate the volume of the cylinder? Now when you look at the cylinder we know the area of the base and the area of the top. So basically what happens, how can we visualize a cylinder is, this is your base, base and top are anyways identical. Now how much is the area of the base? So this is the base and area of the base is basically the area of the circle which is pi r square. Now if you take many such circles and keep stacking them one above the other, you keep placing them one above the other. Now you can try this out with coins at your home. So take coins, try placing them one above the other. What do you get? You finally get a cylinder. Right? So what is happening? This area of the base gets multiplied how many times? It gets added as many times as is the height. So if we say that the height of the cylinder is h, in that case in order to find out the volume what do you do? The area of the base which is pi r square and this area gets added h times depending on how much is the height. For example, if you have coins, if you have 20 coins, then what what is the volume? Pi r square into 20 because your height is 20. So in this case, your volume would be pi r square into h. So therefore, we say that the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h where r is the radius and h is the height of the cylinder. So in this fashion, we can calculate the volume of cube, cuboid, Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.